Hey guys. guys! Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Alexis and I'm from the US. And I am Louis and I am Swiss. And together we make all kinds of videos about traveling and living in Switzerland. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stick around. So you guys saw it in the title today, we are talking about more tourist mistakes to avoid and this edition will be about Zurich. So many of you use Zurich either as your base totally for the entire trip or you use Zurich flying in and out of from your destination because it has the biggest airport in Switzerland. So I know a lot of you spent time there and Zurich can be an expensive city and even more so if you make some of these mistakes. So let's get right into it. So the first tourist mistake in Zurich that I would advise you to avoid is staying by the airport in your hotel. So this might seem counterintuitive, especially mm -hmm. if you've traveled a lot to cities like London or New York and Paris and Barcelona mm -hmm. and things like that, where it can be kind of a trip to get yeah. to the airport. Zurich is exceptionally well connected you can kind of land on the tarmac and be in your hotel room in like 45 minutes. Really, yeah. I say that like I could be back in my bed taking a nap like 50 minutes after the wheels came down to the mm -hmm. plane. From Zurich Hauptbahnhof to the airport, it's about 10 minutes on the train and that train comes all day long mm -hmm. constantly. So if you're staying in the old town, you can get to that airport gate really, really quickly. So staying mm -hmm. at the airport hotel, I think is totally unnecessary yeah. in, in really any circumstance. And it's a shame because there's a lot going on in Zurich yeah. in the evening. So if you're staying in the airport, I think that's when it can be a little bit more annoying. You won't have that same kind of you yeah. know, life. I think you're not going to sort of go back in the evening, go back to the old town to go have a, a dinner and stroll around, but you'll definitely do it if you have a hotel close to the train station. So the next tourist mistake to avoid is also based on where you're staying, and that's don't only stay in the old town. I see mm -hmm. some people saying like the biggest city in Switzerland, Zurich, is actually quite small, and that says to me that you really just kind of walked around the little old town <laughs> area back and forth around the river. Zurich is really spread out quite wide in terms of mm -hmm. things to do. The old town is very concentrated but there's a lot of really cool areas around. One of our favorites that we've recommended in a few videos is actually called Hardbrücke. This really cool, I think, used to be industrial area and now is coming a little bit more up and coming. There's a lot of interesting bars and yeah. shops there. That's one area and there's a lot of really beautiful areas around the lake of Zurich that you can explore. There's Bellevue. Mm -hmm. There's so many other beautiful places that have really lovely restaurants. There's a lot to see in Zurich outside of the old town. We have a video dedicated to it, but make sure to just get out of that little tiny area because yeah. then Zurich will really feel like a village, but it's, it's a city that has more than a million people. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, for example, Langstrasse is also for younger people. Like, this is where people go out to, and, and this is... Would be a shame to you to miss if you are one or two days in Zurich. So the third tourist mistake that I would recommend avoiding is actually purchasing a Zurich card, which is one card that will give you access to all the public transportation and some of the museums of Zurich. Not all. And why is that? I think the alternative is is the 24-hour public transportation ticket that is very cheap and that is really 24 hours, not just one day, but spread out to, to two days in case you are taking it at noon. This is going to be, I think, three times cheaper. And the Zurich card doesn't really include a lot of museums and you might also not necessarily want to do museums and you'll have to do at least two or three to break even. So just keeping the ZVV, these are the public transportation 24-hour ticket, is what I would really recommend instead of the Zurich card. So tip number four is to avoid dragging all your luggage around with you for the day when you are in Zurich. So I know a lot of people just fly in and out of Zurich or take the train in and out of Zurich and mm -hmm. maybe you're not even staying at night and in that case you might be wondering what do I do with all of my luggage. It's really easy. In the airport and in the train station there are so many lockers available to you. These lockers are really inexpensive depending on the size of the locker and how long you leave them for. They range from like four francs to eight francs, yeah. maybe a little bit more or if you're leaving it for a really long Think period six of time. Hours, yeah. mm -hmm. But you can just drop it in the locker, you get a little key, some of them you get a code, mm -hmm. you can pay with coins or a credit card and you are on your way. So look out for free. <laughs> this little icon that's the same in every train mm -hmm. station or airport in Switzerland, that means it's like a locker room and you could just leave your stuff there. So I always felt bad when I saw people kind of dragging it around on yeah. the cobblestone because <laughs> it's just such a pain to have to explore a city that way. So leave your stuff in lockers. So before we get into our top tips, I wanted to stop and say thank you to our sponsor, Manta Sleep. They've sponsored us before and I know some of you guys have actually purchased them and have told us that you really like it for your travels. So thank you so much for supporting sponsors that support us and let's check out the Manta Sleep Sleep Mask. 
So if you're watching this video, chances are that you're planning a long journey soon. Louis and I are on the road a lot and our parents to an infant, and it's important for us to be able to catch a little bit of sleep whenever we can. So whether we're on a train, plane, anywhere in between, the Mantis Sleep Mask provides 100% blackout anytime, anywhere, guaranteed. This mask is infinitely adjustable with detachable eye cups in different sizes that can be placed anywhere on the head strap. You'll be sure to have a perfect fit. So purchase today with our code for 10% off. There's a 60 day money back guarantee if you aren't satisfied, but we're confident that you will be. So the fifth tourist mistake to avoid in Zurich is if you are planning on renting a car to go around Switzerland, but you're going to stay a few days in Zurich, do not rent the car at the airport and have the car around because it's going to be a pain actually to handle that kind of parking. It's going to be extremely expensive and Zurich is not kind of a car city. It really makes it pretty difficult to, uh, to navigate by car. You have lots of one-way streets and uh, you'll get lost and you'll lose a lot of money. So I would just recommend renting the car the day when you are going to leave for the mountains, for example, this is valid. And uh, some people, if you have a, a lot of family, taking a car is, uh, is nice in, uh, in Switzerland, but not having it in Zurich because this is just going to be complicated. We live in Geneva now and we have a car. We lived mm -hmm. in Zurich for two years and we did not have one for yeah. that reason. It is such a pain to have to deal with it and the parking and mm -hmm. driving it around. It's really more hassle than it's worth. So if you're in Zurich for a yeah. couple days, don't rent it until the end. So the next tourist mistake to avoid and this might be a hit or miss depending on the audience, but if you're like me, this is gonna be an important tip and that is not having change to go to the restroom. So if you are from the US and you are not familiar with this, you need change to go to a lot of restrooms in Europe, but particularly I noticed in Zurich and background on me, I'm someone that lives with lifelong anxiety about where I can go to the bathroom at all times. I just need to know to feel good. So in Zurich particularly, especially in the old town, there are really no free public restrooms. You need to put a coin in the door usually to get it to open to go to the restroom. So just make sure you have change on you. It just avoids that whole kind of like, what am I going to do yeah. now? And trying to ask someone on the street. Just have a couple franc coins. It might also not take your bills. So really have your like bills. one franc. Yep. You have like one or two francs on you and this is well. I always have point. coins in my wallet in Switzerland, but in Zurich particularly, I found that some of the other areas in Switzerland are mm -hmm. a little bit more forgiving with this where they'll have like free bathrooms in the train station, stuff like that. Zurich is, is hard to find it. So yeah. keep change with you, but this applies to Switzerland too. Another tip on tourist mistakes not to make in Zurich is taking a taxi or even an Uber in Zurich. This is extremely expensive and we have such a great public transportation system with the S-Bahns. These are these trains that go from one train station to another within Zurich and the trams. You're going to get much faster one with the public transportation and it's going to be cheap within your 24 hour day pass. Don't take taxis, it's going to take a long time to wait for them and it's going to cost you a lot of money. So I would not advise for taxis in Zurich. So the next tip to avoid making is spending so much money on your hotel in yeah. Zurich because there are ways to save. I know we have a whole video about Zurich budget mm -hmm. tips that you can check out. But additionally, we recently have partnered with a company called Wander to create a specific traveling Swiss booking platform that Louis and I actually have used a couple times. He uses it when he goes to Zurich for work mm -hmm. and we have access to some cheaper rates that are available publicly on sites like booking.com. Now there aren't a lot and it isn't in every hotel, but there is a good amount. So check it out. They can really mm -hmm. be up to 50% off booking.com. I've had my friends use this. I've had my family yeah. use this. And some of you have used it as well and told me that you couldn't believe how cheap the rates are. So happy to be able to offer this to yeah. our community. Again, there aren't a ton of room. So if you're going to book, book quickly, but it's a great way to save money and mm -hmm. get the same room that everybody else gets, but at a little bit of a discount. Yeah. Yeah, just to name a few hotels that I like actually close to the train station, the Ruby Mimi uh, Hotel, the Townhouse or the Limat Flick are three hotels that are on that platform. And I've booked twice on the Ruby Mimi with 50 bucks less. So like 180 versus 230, 50, which is still like a, you're going to spare a meal with uh, with this platform. So check it out and, uh, and compare, but uh, that's a good tip, I think. So the second to last tip is a tip that applies in Zurich also, of Switzerland. Mm -hmm. A lot of these can be extrapolated to Switzerland, but this one is having Swiss 
frank, so making sure to not just have euros is the mistake to avoid. The reason I say this for Zurich particularly actually be counterintuitive and that's because a lot of vendors and stores and such in Zurich accept euros but yeah. they will do so at a really bad exchange rate so fair <laughs> fair they're doing it because they're doing you a favor but anytime I've seen that the exchange rate has been much lower than what it is currently in reality so if you need to get rid of euros for whatever reason you can use them in Zurich mm -hmm. often but I really recommend paying with Swiss francs don't think that it's kind of just like a one-to-one -one and it's, no. it's equal if you're using both make sure to pay with Swiss francs and the last tip we have for you is maybe a little bit more silly, but unfortunately... It's like it's, a JK, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. It is not to be prepared to be poor after your trip in Zurich. Zurich is expensive. It's one of the most expensive cities in the world in that ranking here with Geneva. And I think you need to just plan accordingly. We have made a full video on doing Zurich on a budget. So you can already sort of mitigate your risks with this video. But still, I think this is something to, to keep in mind. Zurich more than anywhere else in Switzerland is going to be expensive. So if you can save some money on maybe taking lunch by the river or by the lake with a sandwich, that might be a good way to save some money. But that's just to set expectations when you are going to travel to Zurich. It is an expensive city, so just plan accordingly and you will be uh, hopefully fine. Zurich is a really great city. It is a great base to explore Switzerland. It is very well connected. Yeah. We actually built, Louis actually built, a full itinerary. If you are based in Zurich, you could purchase it along with many other itineraries on our website at the link yes. here. If you are heading to Switzerland soon and you still feel like you need more one-on-one -on -one assistance, you can book a consultation with Louis himself for 45 minutes and he will walk through your itinerary, any questions you have and make sure you feel comfortable and confident before heading to Switzerland. And of course, you also have our full roster of videos here on YouTube and on Instagram for some free resources as well. Yeah. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching the video. We will catch you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. See you soon.